You know how they say big things come in small packages? They must have been talking about the BYD lineup. This gorgeous electric hatchback has had months-long rumors about its battery and whether it can fit everything in just under $10,000. But now, with the recent leaks of pictures and specs, we have all the reasons why it's the car of the future, as we'll discuss with you the newly released deets on the BYD Seagull 2023. We'll also answer the current battle of lithium versus sodium batteries used in the car, so be sure to stay till the end. Let's get started. The future of driving is certain with BYD's latest release, the BYD Seagull 2023. But before we dive into the details of this amazing mini electric vehicle, let's take a moment to appreciate BYD's incredible journey as an automaker. Founded in 2003, BYD has come a long way in a short amount of time. Their exponential growth over the past decade caught the eye of legendary investor Warren Buffett, who saw the brand's potential and invested a massive 232 million US dollars in 2008. Fast forward to 2023, and BYD has a market cap of CNY 739.17 billion, or 108.46 billion US dollars, a testament to their dedication and hard work. Now, let's talk about the Seagull and BYD's exciting new lineup of cars. The Auto 3, Seal, Sea Lion, and Seagull are all part of the new generation of EVs that pack a punch. They have the potential to change the EV market as we know it. The Seagull is the most compact car in the BYD Ocean series, positioned under the Dolphin as an entry-level car. But don't be fooled by its size. The Seagull is packed with features and boasts a sleek design that's sure to turn heads. BYD's unique approach to car design is what sets them apart from their competition. Their marine aesthetics design language is inspired by the ocean, giving their vehicles a distinct look and feel. The Seagull is no exception, and you can see this unique design in all of the cars in the Ocean series. If you're excited to see the Seagull up close and personal, mark your calendars for April 18th because the car will make its official public debut at the Shanghai Auto Show. You won't want to miss out on this incredible opportunity to witness BYD's dedication to pushing the boundaries of what's possible in the EV market. But for now, let's stick to the available information we've got, starting with the design. The BYD Seagull 2023 is a marvel of design and engineering and its exterior is a testament to this fact. China's Ministry of Industry and Information Technology revealed images of the car's exterior, and it's clear that the Seagull is a stunning example of BYD's commitment to innovation and style. The electric city car has a sharp and purposeful design that's sure to turn heads. The smooth front fascia, swept back, wedge-shaped headlamps, and large windshield all contribute to the Seagull's sleek and modern look. BYD's decision to use a single wiper on the Seagull is clever cost-cutting, and the compact air intake at the bottom of the front end serves the car's cooling needs. Even the vertical grills on its flanks are designed to add style without sacrificing functionality. The Seagull's sides feature a rising belt line that has a sharp kick right behind the B-pillar, which makes the rear windows noticeably small. The right side front wing houses the charging port, and the gray cladding on the wheel arches and the door panels, as well as the crossover-like wheels, add a touch of ruggedness to the car's design. The flush door handles seem to be cost-effective pull-type units, which is a smart move by BYD. If you were curious about the interior of the BYD Seagull, Spy Pictures have got you covered, and it looks like BYD has taken the design elements from their successful Dolphin and Seal model and adapted them for this compact electric hatchback. The three-spoke, flat-bottom steering wheel with metallic inserts looks sporty and stylish. The compact instrument cluster is a freestanding display and bends perfectly with the car's aesthetics. The Seagull's central dashboard has two circular air conditioning vents, which sit on each side of a touchscreen infotainment system, which is likely similar to the Dolphin's 12.8-inch unit. And the cylindrical panel of physical controls, including the gear selector, also comes from the bigger Dolphin model. BYD has added two dedicated smartphone storage locations one below the touchscreen and one in front of the cup holders. The interior features a dual-tone beige and black color scheme and quilted seat covers. And all of this is packed into a compact electric city car, measuring 3,780 millimeters in length 
1715 millimeters in width and 1540 millimeters in height with a wheelbase of 2500 millimeters and a seating capacity of four people including the driver the byd seagull is not just stylish and compact but it also packs a punch in terms of performance with two power motor options, drivers can choose between a maximum power output of 55 kilowatts and 70 kilowatts. This means that the Seagull is not just perfect for city driving, but it can also handle longer distances and more challenging terrains. But what sets the Seagull apart from other electric vehicles is its impressive cruising range of up to 400 kilometers on a single charge. This means that drivers can travel long distances without worrying about running out of charge or having to stop for frequent charging breaks. This extended range is especially impressive considering the Seagull's compact size and entry-level positioning in the BYD lineup. With a top speed of 130 kilometers an hour, the Seagull is also perfect for short trips and urban commuting. It's ideal for those who want a reliable and efficient electric vehicle that can easily navigate through crowded city streets and traffic. And with its stylish and modern design, the Seagull is sure to turn heads wherever it goes. BYD seems to be going all out to attract young customers with the Seagull electric car. Along with its compact size and affordable price, the company will offer the car in a range of funky and pop colors that are sure to turn heads. On February 8th, 2023, CarNewsChina.com published pictures of a seagull painted in fluorescent yellow, and on January 18th, 2023, BYD released a video of a pink-colored seagull on YouTube. These colors will also be available for the interior of the car, making it a fun and trendy option for young drivers. With its practical range, stylish design, and eye-catching colors, the BYD Seagull seems poised to make a splash in the electric vehicle market. We have some exciting news to share about the BYD Seagull. According to a Yeesh report from November 30th, 2022, the car will be available with two types of batteries, sodium ion and lithium ion. The unique sodium ion chemistry could deliver a range of around 300 kilometers, while the conventional lithium ion battery could deliver a range of around 400 kilometers. However, a more recent report on info.xcar.com.cn from February 22, 2023, mentioned a lineup of four range variants, offering customers even more options to choose from. 265, 310, 408, in 360 kilometers. Sodium ion batteries are getting a lot of attention lately, and for good reason. Compared to lithium ion batteries, they could achieve similar performance in a wider range of applications without the supply chain headaches. The price of lithium has skyrocketed due to rising demand for batteries, up nearly 450% compared to last year, according to S&P Global Commodity Insights. On the other hand, sodium has an almost unlimited supply, making it less expensive and more environmentally friendly to source. Sodium ion batteries also have a lower energy density than lithium ion batteries, meaning that an EV with a sodium battery at the same size as a standard lithium ion battery would not be able to travel as far on a single charge. Additionally, packing more voltage into the same space causes sodium ion batteries to break down faster. However, sodium ion batteries have their advantages too. They're safer than lithium ion batteries since they're non-flammable and less susceptible to temperature changes. LatePost reported last November that BYD plans to mass produce sodium ion batteries in the second quarter of 2023. According to the report, the Kin EV, Dolphin, and new model Seagull will feature sodium ion batteries. In November last year, Local automotive media Yeesh reported that the BYD Seagull may be the first model to be equipped with sodium ion batteries, with the model's launch expected in the second quarter of 2023. The Seagull will be offered in both sodium ion and lithium ion versions, with the former expected to cost as little as 60,000 won or 8,730 US dollars, and the latter expected to cost 80,000 yuan. This new entry-level EV will challenge regional models such as the Shangon Benben E-Star, Leap T03, Cherry Wuji Pie, and the upcoming Wuling Bingo. The Seagull equipped with sodium ion batteries will have a range of 300 kilometers, while the lithium ion version will have a range of 400 kilometers, according to the Yeesh report published on November 30th, 2022. It's worth noting that these reports have never been confirmed by BYD. 
However, the use of sodium ion batteries is gaining attention due to their unique chemistry and their ability to achieve similar performance to lithium ion batteries in a wider range of applications, all without the supply chain headaches. In conclusion, the BYD Seagull 2023 is a compact yet feature-packed electric car with a sleek design that draws inspiration from the ocean. Its unique approach to car design sets it apart from its competition. It's clear that BYD has put a lot of effort into this car, and it shows in its attention to detail and innovative design. The question is, would you want to buy the Seagull for yourself or wait for the rest of the lineup to launch? One thing's for sure, if you want a car that's both stylish and eco-friendly, the BYD Seagull is worth considering. And who knows, maybe you'll be the one driving the future. So, are you ready to take the plunge? Will you wait for the next wave of BYD electric cars? Let us know in the comments section below. And thanks for watching.